Shalom, giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechah Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone at Ruel. Peace, bless, and salutations to the hopeful elect. It has scattered abroad. This is the brother you wanted on. Coming with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. A Lord will, it will be edifying to those that hear it. Okay, and I just want to make, you know, uh, two part, going into two parts, really walking in wisdom. Okay, you know, being circumspect as well as redeeming the times because, hey, now that, you know, this attention that, you know, these uh, celebrities have brought upon this truth, a hey, best believe that Esau Edom, you know, just like the word um, devil means, you know, deceiver, as well as uh, uh, slander, you know, that might be Satan, you know, Satan meaning adversary, but it really all goes back into Esau Edom. And what is he going to try to do? He's going to slander, okay, the Israelites, all right? He's going to try to come against these camps as he already has done. Hey, but he's going to do it on a larger scale, man, because, hey, this is biblical prophecy, what you see before you, okay? A mass number of Jake waking up to this truth, all right? That is biblical prophecy, whether people believe it or not, man. You know, it speaks about that in the book of Daniel, okay? The book of Daniel, uh, the 12th chapter, all right? And let's start at the top. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. Okay, speaking about uh Michael the archangel, you know, which is which is in okay, uh, which is in the spirit well, which is wait, which he is waiting with Yahweh Shah, right? And it says, The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, speaking about the Israelites, okay. And it says, and there shall be a time of trouble, which there's going to be in America. Okay, a time of trouble like never before. And it says, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Thy people, again, is speaking about, all right, the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect as well as the one third. Okay, which are predestinated uh, with salvation, predestinated okay with deliverance from the said destructions and the said perils which are going to take place all right in this place babylon the great right and it says everyone that shall be found written in the book and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake okay awake to what awake to this knowledge man okay awaken i mean awake from all right, uh, the dust, doesn't it say in Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken, the 57th or 52nd chapter? Matter of fact, let me get that. Let me see. I know it's in the book of Isaiah. When it says to, yep, Isaiah 52. And let's start from the beginning, from the top. It says, awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Zion being a people before a place. Okay? And it says to put on thy strength, meaning put on this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? Which is the armor of Yahweh Bashem al via through the Holy Spirit. Okay? And it says, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the, and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, okay? Shake thyself from the dust is meaning to a remove the ways of this world, okay? To remove the indoctrination of Esau Edom, okay? So awake, awake. So going back to a hey, Daniel the twelfth chapter, hey, amen. It is prophesied that in the latter times, a hey, the remnant of israel was going to return like it says in isaiah the 10th chapter man it says the remnant shall return isaiah chapter 10 verse 21 
and we can grab that next, man. Okay. And um, let's see. Let me read it again. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 2. And it says, shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down. O Jerusalem, lose, loose thyself from the bands of, of thy neck. O captive daughter of Zion. And that's exactly what we're doing, man. We're loose. We're, we are loosing ourselves from the bands of thy neck, man. Meaning that, hey, man, we're awakened, okay, from the things which we have been taught here in Babylon the Great, man. All right? Hey, we're standing upon our feet. You know what? Let me get that. All right. There was one. Oh. Let's see. Let's get this one. Acts, Acts chapter 26, verse 16. And it says, But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee. Hey, so the Heavenly Father, all right, it has appointed us, man. All right, has appointed us to do what, man? All right, to, uh, us being the hopeful elect, us being the men of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, all right, to wake up in the latter times and to a, not only herald the coming of our Lord, but a wake up the remnant of our people, okay? Doesn't it say go out to the highways and byways and bid them unto the marriage, man. Hey, that marriage is with a hey, the bridegroom. Um, um, or that marriage, okay, is symbolic with you know, uh, Yahweh Shah, a hey, coming to get his bridegroom. Roughly paraphrasing, us being the bridegroom, okay, you know, so. Let's get 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 13. He answered unto me. He answered and said unto me, stand upon thy feet and hear a mighty a mighty sounding voice. Okay? And there's another one in the book of Ezekiel the 2nd chapter, Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 1 and he said unto me, son of man, stand upon thy feet and I will speak unto thee. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. And set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. You see? Hey, so that spirit is the spirit of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. All right, which is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And in the, the latter times, all right, hey, the remnant was going to wake up, man. Okay? Which is the elect, which is the one third. They were going to wake up, all right, and a hey, hey, strive for greatness, man. Not only strive for greatness. Hey, but hey, burst the, um, uh, like it says in Isaiah the fifty-second chapter, man. They were going to loose the bands off thy neck, man. All right, hey, and that's what we doing spiritually, man. We doing this spiritually, okay? We're not coming in the spirit of Christianity no more, man. We're not coming in the spirit of being a Muslim. We're not coming in the spirit of being a seven-day Adventist, man. We're not in the spirit of being black. We're not in the spirit of being five percenters, man. We're coming back unto our true heritage, okay, which is we are Hebrew Israelites, man, coming from out of the 12 tribes of Israel, man, hey, which is the truth. Whether anybody wants to believe it or not, hey, this is the whole heart of truth, and we believe, and we believe it through faith, man, okay? It says in the book of Romans, he that doubted is damned, man. You know, we coming into this truth. Hey, man, we have become fully persuaded in this thing, man. Fully persuaded that, hey, we are, in fact, the Israelites. Are fully persuaded, hey, that we have this truth, man. Okay? And hey, the Heavenly Father has not given us the spirit of fear. Okay? But he has given us a spirit of a sound mind, man. Okay? So, again, this being the twofold lesson. The first fold being what, man? That... 
the, now that now that hey now that the attention is on even though hey this word is gonna go out throughout the four corners hey like it's prophesied about man hey that it says in the book of psalms the 19th chapter how they sound went throughout the whole earth man hey but but uh nevertheless it's time to be circumspect man all right it's time to be sober and that's speaking spiritually man okay let's get that in the book of um let me see let me see all right it's the book of ephesians the fifth chapter starting at verse 15 and it says see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise okay so we have to do what we have to walk circumspectly man meaning that hey man if you don't if you don't think esau edom knows who you are man hey you're a fool okay even though we have your how about shamal shah hey protecting us hey but esau edom has a a, a a scope on you man not only is he watching what you're doing on your phone okay but he may put somebody around you man you know, and it's really your how about your mouth shot. Hey, but nevertheless, hey, we got to be circumspect, man. We have to understand that they're going to do anything to try to blame this ministry, man. They're going to do anything to try to blame the prophets, okay? So we have to be on point, all right? Because what is the truth supposed to do? Hey, the truth is supposed to make you free. And spiritually, we free, okay? At the end of the day... Hey, according to Esau Edom, two plus two equals four. Okay, so we understand we got to defend the gospel, but nevertheless, hey, they gonna send agents, you know, trying to make you. <laughs> they're gonna send agents to try to convince you that two plus two equals three or five, man. Okay, so hey, man, we gotta be circumspect. And verse sixteen it says, "Redeeming the times because the days are evil." Okay, evil going into what? Bad times. But we got to redeem the time, man. All right, at any time, man, they could shut down YouTube, man. At any time, you know, they could deem hey, what we're preaching treason at any time, you know. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's whatever Yahweh Bashim al Shah has in store. But, hey, this is just, you know. A lesson through the spirit, man. Verse 17, wherefore ye be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, man. Okay, so hey, we gotta go, we have to go through persecution, man. It says the servant is not greater than his master. Alright, when our Lord Yahweh Shah was on the scene, he had to go through it, man. So we have to go through that persecution, alright? That persecution phase somebody labeling labeling you as crazy somebody label labeling you as you don't know what you're talking about man so we got to go through it as well okay so we got to understand the will of your how about shah all right and um i think i'm gonna read the daniel the second chapter again and i'm gonna wrap up this lesson i didn't want to make it too long just wanted to get a few points you know through the spirit and lord willing they'll be edifying man Okay, Daniel chapter 12, verse 2, and it says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Okay, so again, the one-third, the remnant, is going to awake hey, to everlasting life, man. All right, which we all know, the whole nation of Israel, according to Isaiah the, 50, the 45th chapter in the 17th verse, Hey, the whole nation of Israel is going to be saved, man. Okay, but backing up to Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. Hey, the two-third of our nation are, is going to be destroyed hey, by those missiles on this side, man. Okay, meaning that, hey, they're going to return through the elect, all right, in the kingdom. All right, but, hey, they got to go through it on this side, man. All right, so... That's where that everlasting shame and contempt is going to come from, man, because hey, our people has chosen a hey, Satan. Our people has chosen Esau 
over Yahweh Bashem El Shah. And how do we know that? It says that in the book of Isaiah, the 10th chapter. You know, Isaiah chapter 10. Let me get the point. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20. And it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escape of the house of Jacob shall no more shall no more again stay upon him that smote him. Okay, him that smote him again is speaking about Esau, Edom. Okay, so there's going to be a time a word, the remnant, okay, the one-third, the elect, is going to uh, release themselves from the hands of this devil, man. And they're going to put their trust in the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. And the true name for the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. And the true name for His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah. And it says what? It says, but they shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. Okay? So the remnant is going to return to this truth, man. The remnant is going to awake, okay, in these latter times, man. The remnant is going to return. All right? So, excuse me. You know, even though... Hey, man, these people are spewing out this madness. Hey, but we got to keep free, man. Hey, we have an ever sure word of prophecy, man. We know what Yahweh Bashem al Shah is going to do to this society. Yahweh Shah is going to come and overthrow this wicked society. Okay, take down this devil. Take him out the way. Okay, and pursue, pursuing the second Thessalonians, the second chapter, it tells us how this man of sin, being Esau, Edom, is going to be revealed, man. So, hey, we have an ever sure word of prophecy and it's playing out before our eyes, man. So, brothers, keep the faith, man. Keep fighting. Yahweh Shah is on his way back, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the next time. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. Devil honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Shalom. Ababa Ba. Kom Yasha Allah. Shalom.